Good day kids! Welcome to another Materific Learning. For this video, we will talk about how to identify and describe the different kinds of quadrilaterals. Square, rectangle, parallelogram, trapezoid, and rhombus. The word quadrilateral is derived from the word squad, which means four, and lateral, meaning sides. That is why any figure or polygons having four sides are called quadrilaterals. This figure is an example of quadrilateral. Quadrilaterals are polygons with four sides, four vertices, and four angles that add up to 360 degrees. Let's take a look at the different types of quadrilaterals. First up is a square. All sides of a square are of the same or equal length. If one side of a square measures 7 cm, then the other three sides also measure 7 cm. Opposite sides of a square are parallel. Square has also four right angles that has exactly 90 degrees in each angle. Next type of quadrilateral is a rectangle, where its opposite sides are parallel and of equal length. If the width of a rectangle measures 5 cm, then its opposite side also measures 5 cm. If the length is 9 cm, then its opposite side is also 9 cm. Just like the square, rectangle also has four right angles, where each angle measures 90 degrees. The third type of quadrilateral is rhombus. Similar to squares, rhombus has four sides with equal length. If one side measures 6 cm, then each of the other sides also measures 6 cm. Rhombus has also two pairs of parallel lines which is similar to squares and rectangles. Two angles in a rhombus are acute and the other two are obtuse. Diagonally opposite angles are equal. If this angle measures 70 degrees, then its opposite is also 70 degrees. If this angle has 110 degrees, then its opposite angle also measures 110 degrees. Parallelogram is another type of quadrilaterals where opposite sides are parallel and of equal length. If this side is 6 cm long, then the opposite side also measures 6 cm. If this upper base is 8 cm, then its opposite lower base is also 8 cm. Just like the rhombus, opposite angles of a parallelogram are diagonally equal. If this angle measures 68 degrees, then its opposite angle also measures 68 degrees. If this angle measures 112 degrees, then its opposite angle also measures 112 degrees. Squares, rectangles, and rhombus are all kinds of parallelogram because they have pairs of parallel sides. The last type of quadrilateral is trapezoid where there is only a pair of parallel sides. There are three kinds of trapezoids. First is the isosceles trapezoid. This is a type of trapezoid in which the non-parallel sides have the same length. The base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are of the same measurements as well. Second is the right trapezoid where there is a pair of right angles. Lastly, is the scalene trapezoid. This type of trapezoid has no sides with equal length. 
Now, let's practice. Which best describes a quadrilateral? Three-sided figure, four-sided figure, or five-sided figure? Why is a square a rhombus? It has four equal sides, it has two pairs of parallel sides, or it has two pairs of parallel sides and four equal sides. What property makes a square a rectangle? It has four equal sides, it has four right angles, or it has two pairs of parallel sides and four right angles. What property makes a rhombus a parallelogram? It has four right angles. It has only one pair of parallel sides. Or it has two pairs of parallel sides. Why is a trapezoid not a parallelogram? It has no pair of parallel sides. It has only one pair of parallel sides. Or it has two pairs of parallel sides. How can we find the missing angles in a quadrilateral? Remember that all the angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. Let us take a look at this example. Given three angles, 115, 139, and 41 degrees, what is the measurement of the fourth angle? To get the missing angle, first, add the three given angles. 139 plus 115 plus 41 is equal to 295. Then, subtract 295 from 360. And we get 65. The missing angle is 65 degrees. Let us have this another practice activity. Find the missing angle. Were you able to answer all the items correctly? Great! That's all for now. See you again for our next Matterific Learning. Goodbye!